it's so cold in the morning. Happy July 1st. We're going across it, people. That was by far one of the hardest classes I've ever had. <laughs> we just had to do a bunch of cardio. And we had to do four sets of a 400 meter run and then you take a minute rest. In total, it was a mile, but I just hate running so much. But the class was like really good. It was pretty intense. As you can see, I'm just sweating my ass off. But you guys know the routine by now. I'm gonna go home and make me a shake. Back on this steep ass hill. <laughs> but I am back here at Emily's. I guess we tend to see each other every Tuesday. It's been so great to have a neighbor, <sighs> a best friend actually, who lives nearby. Ermola? Erm? Hi! Hello! Oh, I know, see? It's hot outside. It's so hot. Oh my gosh. Hi, baby. Oh, I should take some Benadryl. I have some. I know you did. You went and got me some. Are you just getting home? Oh, shit. Here we go, round two. Are you pure? What's wrong with your... Oh, I have my um, oh, retainer. Here. What's today's menu? Is it... Let me guess. What did I do to deserve a friend like this? All right, this is my lunch. Robin made this like veggie curry last night. How could I be so far from my home? And my mind is somewhere else, but when I find it, I'll patch up where it's been blown. Now I'm just floating on the breeze, and I feel I'm falling like these leaves. I must be. How beautiful. Oh my goodness. Wow. It's so nice to have guy friends, you know? Appreciate. Come on! Get your ass back. <laughs> he came over to my house for stamps and he thought he was about to get them for free. <laughs> That a boy. Do your duties. How many houses did we go to today? <laughs> My house, and then we went yours, to your house, and now we're at Cheese. Now we're in downtown LA. We're gonna get Kazu Nori. I haven't had it in a while, and you were supposed to get it with me. Sorry. Who should go with? Sharon? Ah! Oh. <laughs> Damn, you are getting it in. Wow. Get it in. Hi. I needed that. Oh my goodness. Wow. Welcome home. I snoozed my alarm a little too long today and I didn't make it to CrossFit, which was really surprising because I've been so on point with waking up around 5.30. I don't know what happened. Maybe I just needed the rest, but I really wanted to go Monday through today, Wednesday, because tomorrow is 4th of July, and then we're just gonna have a long weekend. 
but it's okay. I'm just gonna do some little workouts at home and give myself a little break, you know? Having some celery juice right now. I just put it over ice because I think it just tastes better that way. But overall, the taste isn't horrible. It's, it tastes like celery. I'm headed to go get my nails done. It is 4th of July tomorrow, so there's a lot to be done, including these nails and these toes. Robin took Leo to the office because I have to go to the office at 2.30 for a meeting, and then Luna is with her dog sitter, so. Happy 4th of July. I just got done getting ready. It's been a very long day so far. Robin and I woke up pretty early. I had to clean the house because my friend Sierra from high school, which you guys have seen her in some vlogs a long time ago. She is visiting me from Texas. I need to head to LAX pretty soon to pick her up. Um, I haven't seen her in like two years, so it's gonna be really great to see her and she's just gonna hang out with me for the weekend and she leaves on Sunday. So I just needed to clean up and make it nice and presentable for her. <laughs> Yay, we made it. Airport was kind of crazy, but we're here. Oh, who is this hottie? Hottie number one and hottie number two. Happy Independence Day. has arrived. Benny has arrived. Yo, today is the 4th. <laughs> okay, are you a vlogger now? We experienced an earthquake today. Excuse me. I experienced an earthquake You experienced an So, you live in a high rise. Let me just explain a few things. Right? Hey guys, so this is our family. We're coordinating this red, white, and blue. Oh.
Ryan Little. <laughs> I really wish this would just come to an end already. I, I just, there's hair everywhere. Ugh. Good morning. It was a really crazy weekend. I had the best time on July 4th and that entire weekend I spent with Sierra. She left yesterday evening and man, that was definitely a weekend to remember. It was a lot of going out, drinking, so I made sure today that I made it to CrossFit. It's been about four days since I've gone and I typically don't like to wait that long in between but you know sometimes life just happens so I'm gonna try to go as much as I can this week And now I am headed to grab some more of Luna's food, her raw patties because I'm out. And I even buy the big box so that I don't have to go so often. But I feel like with the big boxes, she just eats them up super quick. And then I'm headed home, gonna have some lunch, and then I'm filming a very uncomfortable video. <laughs> so I'm just like, Kind of mentally preparing myself and trying to do these errands just to make my anxiety feel um, less intense uh, working out definitely helped but just because i know i've been thinking about this video for some time now and i'm finally filming it today which i'm sure a lot of you have been curious about so anyways that's what i'm up to I'm not too far from home so See you guys when I'm back. Here's what I'm having for lunch. I spent some time yesterday meal prepping. I have some salmon that I've seasoned lightly and some steamed broccoli with no seasoning. I'm probably just gonna dress it up with a little bit of sriracha. I got a boiled egg right here that Robin boiled for me this morning. And yeah, this is my healthy lunch. So exciting. Good morning. I'm headed to downtown LA for a meeting. I'm running a little bit late. Um, it's just been one of those days. So after the meeting, I'm probably going to shoot and then come home and then maybe try to make it to CrossFit. Try to squeeze that in there, but we'll have to see. It's a pretty crazy week. Um, I have a lot to do before 
Robin and I leave to San Diego on Friday. We're gonna be visiting our friend Edan and I'm going to be doing a little consultation on her because I'm doing her wedding makeup and this will be the only time for me to just try out what she wants. So anyways, I'm headed to the office. Hope you guys are having a beautiful day and I'll see you there. Okay, I just got back home. I had to stop by Luna. She's literally shoving her face in love with Jay. <laughs> I had to stop by Kaiser to pick up some prescriptions and now I'm home. Just changed. Oh, I really don't want to work out. But I have to because I didn't go this morning because I just couldn't get up. So I'm gonna make it to CrossFit. This is my first time taking an evening class. Go inside, Luna. Leo, go inside. Good girl. Theo, go inside. Oh, let me grab some water. <sighs> My mind's a mess. My mind's a mess. Like I was saying, it's my first time taking an evening class, which uh, I'm a little nervous about because I just never take evening classes. I really don't know what to expect. I don't know who's gonna be in there. I like, you know, I'm kind of like a routine person seeing familiar faces. I work out with the same people every 6 a.m. All right, you guys be good, I'll be right back. No barking. shit oh jose if you're watching this you just kicked my ass <laughs> i know i always say this but that was by far the hardest class i've ever taken the 6 a.m class is easier as far as temperature because when you go at 6 p.m it's like sunny out I am going to get started on some work. I don't have much time actually. I'm supposed to meet Whaley up at 11 and it's 10.15, which means I should really get ready, but I also don't feel like getting ready. So we're just gonna grab brunch around here. So maybe I'll just go like this. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm just going to be working all day. I have a whole video to edit. I have some footage to send in to my editor. And yeah, that's about it for now. Okay, let's get ready, shall we? Me and Whaley pushed back our date till noon. It's 11.39, so I'm gonna get ready. It's crazy to think that even a year ago, I could not have gotten ready in 20 minutes. Like I always needed an hour at the minimum. And I, and I think about it now, it had, to, it had a lot to do with just me not feeling comfortable 
in my own skin and just feeling like I couldn't wear a natural makeup look and wow in a year's time I've just come such a long way and I kind of want to talk about it because I don't think I've ever expressed just like how insecure I would be going out unless I had like a full face of makeup and granted like I would go out with no makeup but it was either just like bumming it or super glam and there was just no in between um and i was able to find just like my everyday very simple makeup look that i can do in like 10 minutes and it took some time getting used to um just because even though i know what i look like without makeup whenever i would just do like a tinted moisturizer and like some brows curl my lashes call it a day it just didn't seem like enough so i don't know i'm just like really glad that i've been able to come into my own and feel a lot more confident with wearing just a natural like truly a natural look like i'm literally putting tinted moisturizer on with my fingers which i would have never done it always had to be like full coverage a kabuki brush beat that shit in <laughs> so I guess what I'm trying to say is that especially if you're a younger viewer and maybe you've just started watching my channel um, if you guys go back to my old videos like I really did a lot to my face almost too much and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with makeup and full glam because I know there's an artistry behind all of that However, for me, it was less of just being artistic and more of just like covering my face up. And so there needs to be a good balance because like beauty and makeup and all of that is so fun. Like makeup is meant to be fun, but it's really, it should be just an accent um, to enhance your natural beauty. And the real true beauty should first come from within and second it should be embracing like what your natural features are so i just want to send out that message and for all you girls who feel very insecure especially like my, my asian sisters out there because you know we have monolids and i swear we can turn these monolids into like a cut crease in like 30 minutes and you can look completely different and um, really transform the way you look and it's okay to rock those looks sometimes but as long as you feel comfortable with just like embracing your natural your natural eyes your natural monolids or whatever it is I don't know I think as I get older just you just learn to love yourself a lot more and I'm really glad that I've been able to just find that in between so here I am with some tinted moisturizer and sure it doesn't cover everything up but that's okay because your girl got a pimple right here here and that's just life I don't want it to seem like I have this you know perfect skin when I don't I go through breakouts all the time it's natural nine times out of ten everyone else does as well unless you have been just blessed from the skin gods above i also just work with my fingers a lot with my very simple routine because it just melts the product in and i swear you can just whoops, apply it so easily and fast and it just looks the most natural whenever i'm doing a simple look like this i just want it to look like my skin and i want it to look very dewy and fresh and even though by the end of the day, it looks like I have no makeup on, um, that's okay. <laughs> if you guys are like me and have struggled with just your own natural beauty, then my advice to you would be just try out a very natural look and wear it every single day for a month or however much you can. And you truly start to get used to the look and feel comfortable and then you're like well actually i don't need this product anymore i don't need to wear this every day and you just become more minimal as the days go by and again you can always spruce it up and have that glam look every now and then but on a day to day people want to see your face your real face they want to see your freckles they want to see your natural eye shape um 
and don't be afraid of that i don't know how i got into this topic i was just sometimes i just have these thoughts to myself like wow you could have not done this look a few months ago or done your makeup in this short amount of time and now i can just do it and i'm like super comfortable and happy with it so anyways uh i'm gonna start rambling on and get ready now <laughs> here's the finished look took me 10 minutes and i'm ready to go i've also been throwing my hair up in this bun a lot because when I work out, I don't want to wash my hair every single day, especially because I have extensions and it's not good to wash your hair that frequently. And so because my hair is so oily and I'm just sweaty after I work out, I just pull it back and it really works. So this is like one of those things where it kind of prevented me from getting into working out on a regular because I'm like, oh, I have extensions and then I'll have to wash my hair every day. Um, and so it kind of like delayed that but i've found this hairstyle that just works you can never tell that my hair is like really dirty it just looks very clean and fresh so um if you guys have been wondering about this new hairstyle that i do a lot just because of that now i'm gonna get dressed wait for whaley and we're gonna get lunch here's my outfit i'm just wearing a very simple linen top that i got in korea i got these very loose comfortable i wouldn't call them trousers but just flowy pants and these are vintage i thrifted these in virginia about a year ago i'm gonna wear some white sandals and that's it whaley ordered kimchi fried rice and this is all i want to eat right now i mean you can have a bite <laughs> i'm trying i've been trying to have very little to no, no carb throughout the week so it's a little bit difficult but I'm just gonna lift this moment to Whaley. Oh my god, this actually looks amazing. Mm -hmm. So I got sambap, which is a traditional, like, you know, Korean sam. I told them no rice, so we just have some bulgogi yeah, with some too. veggies and samdang, which is like soybean paste. Whaley, you're so creative! <laughs> I really wish we could show them what we use for our tripod. I'm so hungry. <laughs> All I had was liquids. Me and Robin had oh celery juice. We had a protein shake and then we had coffee. Too much mm. liquid. Health as well. <laughs> Health as well.